time. Um, finding Sea Lisa. I'm making, <laughs> I'm making this video because I'm bored and I don't have anyone to talk to about weed. Um, it's the end of 2020. I haven't really seen anyone since March. Um, I live in New York and I'm smoking a lot of weed and it'd be cool to have more people to talk to about it. Um, I'm lucky in that I live with two people I'm very close to and they both smoke weed, but that's only two people, right? Like I don't have a lot of stoner friends. I don't have a lot of friends. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Hello, um, I'm smoking some weed. This is, um, I have some hybrid in here, I have some gelato. Um, this bong is like kind of embarrassing, um, but I only have a few, so it is the best one I got, so I'm working with what I got. Um, I'm gonna take a hit. <coughs> wonderful, wonderful. <coughs> totally fine. <coughs> do you ever do that? You dig a hit and you're like, oh, I didn't immediately cough. So like, I'm good, we're good. And then it comes a couple seconds later because you're trying really hard to repress it. <coughs> it's also what I do with my feelings. <laughs> No, but this bong is a little embarrassing. This is like, this is the Mac Dizzle bong, which it's, it, there's nothing, <laughs> nothing really like wrong, wrong with it. Um, it wasn't made very well. Like these leaves, this leaf has come off. Um, I'm, you can see I'm not using the bowl that came with it. I have this little jar of like all my little like knickknacks, like all my like extra bowls and like bangers and stuff um this is the bowl that came with the mac dizzle piece it's like as clean as it's gonna get honestly um and i had to have them send me a i think just one replacement um and it ended up breaking and i didn't get a second replacement because i think they didn't have it like they were just like sold out of the whole collection at that point so I glued it back together though, but like Gorilla Glue, like for real, like you can barely tell that that green leaf broke off. But yeah, like why would you, why would you design a bong with a bunch of like pointed pieces of glass sticking out? Like it's not even fully like, it doesn't wrap to the bong, which is like cool, right? Cause it looks cool and it's like 3D or whatever. And this is also like functional, right? So you don't, you can just grab it by the little leaves to pull the bowl out right but first of all this bowl's fucking tiny this bowl is tiny it's so small like what am i what am i smoking out of that like what is this a, like little bowl for like this is um a grav bomb or it's not a gravity bomb it's the company grav um grav glass i don't know what the hell they're called i got it from 420science um com and I have a couple of them. I have like another one here for my other piece. I really like these because they're big. This is small and it breaks and I think it looks really cool. And I love the rainbow. I love the rainbow weed leaf. I think it's fucking awesome. Um, but it just like, if it breaks, like what's the point? Um, I'll probably like get a different one at some point. But I don't know, it feels like wasteful I don't know how do you even how do you throw a bong away <laughs> how do you do that like how do you do you just like put it in a paper bag and break it and then recycle it like I don't even know <laughs> you can tell I don't get rid of much because I don't even know how to throw a bong away um let me take another hit this is actually very good weed despite my baby lungs
but yeah shout out to um you know this is a dink stop their customer service was wonderful um when i reached out to them about like the bowl breaking and i like sent them a photo and they were like really really nice and apparently there was like a problem with all of them i think or a lot like a lot of people were reporting the problem so i think it was just like a production issue i don't know who made these um but they said they were like they like re-released it or something or i don't know they sent me a new one but it still broke so like i don't know but they were very nice so that's cool people being nice on the internet is very cool um pretty stoned pretty stoned i um went to the gym this morning and i made myself a smoothie and i've been drinking and i was getting ready for this and i was like Wow, I look like a big fucking nerd in my, with my WrestleMania 30 cup. It's holographic. And then you can see my <laughs> wrestling action figure. Um, if you like wrestling, if you like pro wrestling, let me know in the comments. I don't really um, watch it anymore. I've watched it in like years. I'm like very not caught up. I used to watch a lot of it, like indie wrestling and WWE, and I like tried to watch everything. And it's like so much um that like I can't keep up with it I have like a day job I work like a nine to five like office job um although not an office right now I'm working from home because of the pandemic um but yeah it was just like too much to keep up with so I kind of fell off but like I still love it like I still love like fucking Sami Zayn and um I don't even I'm stoned hello Oh, I'm stoned. Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens. Kevin Steen. That's Kevin Owens. Wrestling's cool though. Wrestling's dope. I'm totally down with it. Feel free to tell me your favorite wrestlers, your favorite matches if you're that nerdy. Um, if you are, that's fantastic. I need to grind some more weed up. Um, this grinder. <laughs> This grinder looks like something from like a late 2000s like action movie. Um, and it was a gift from, <laughs> from my wonderful, wonderful significant other. Um, and he got it from, so I live in New York. I live in New York City. I live in Queens. Um, and we don't have like head shops here. Um, like we don't have really like glass shops. There's like a couple like dedicated like glass shops. Like we are like, you know, a 420 friendly business. Um, but what we do have is we have a lot of what they call hedegas, which is like a bodega and a head shop put together. Um, I have a little stash jar for all my stems because I use them to make edibles. So keep your stems. Don't be wasteful. We use the whole plant. We use the whole plant. Um, but yeah, Hedegas. So it's like half head shop, half bodega. And a bodega is basically just a convenience store. It's like um, if you go to a gas station and you go in like the mini mart in the gas station, it's like that. But we have them like on every corner. Like every street has a bodega. Um, and a Hedega is like a bodega, but... So they sell like snacks and food usually, um, but they also sell like glass and like papers and smoking stuff, tobacco, like cigars sometimes. Um, but it's usually like cheap glass, like it's like stuff from China, like it's not like always fancy. Sometimes it is fancy, like sometimes they are like more of a head shop with snacks than a bodega with cheap Chinese glass. Um, it just like depends on which one. But my boyfriend got this from a Hedega and I was kind of, this is such a shitty story, I was kind of a little bit of a snob about it because a lot of the stuff they sell at these, these places is like not, it's not good quality. Like it's kind of like cheap metal or like, I don't know. I was like, is the paint gonna chip off? Like, I don't know what I'm messing with, right? But it's actually like a pretty good grinder. So it's like a four piece. So it's like the grindy part and then there's like a glass container versus like glass 
inside it's like it can store a lot and on the bottom it's like a cute catcher and it comes with like these cute little tools and I was like very like shook oh and then you can unscrew it and it comes apart so if you wanted to like clean it out really good you could do that um which is great except I'm not gonna boil this in milk don't boil your rendered milk that's fucking nasty don't do it um don't do that but yeah it's cute right and like it was really cheap but it works really well and I feel like a snobby bitch for kind of being like oh I don't know if I want to use that like it's like not really what I wanted because I've been talking about how I want a new grinder forever but I can't pick one like I just can't pick one out and I want a nice one but the nice ones are like a hundred dollars and like I don't know maybe it's just me maybe I'm just like old but the thought of paying hundred dollars for a grinder is like I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't pay hundred dollars for a grinder. Like that seems just immoral. I don't know. That should be illegal. Like, why are you charging hundred dollars for a grinder? Like, is it like doing the whole thing for me and I don't have to touch it at all? Like, no, that's not, that's not how it works. So I can't, I can't justify it, but this is really good. Um, I like it. It's cute. Yeah, I like it. this like pretty neat little silicone de boer I really like because most of the ones I'd seen were like metal or glass and I was like what if like I break my glass bowl with a glass de boer I don't know maybe I'm just like aggressive maybe I need to stop like smashing it in there I don't know but it's silicone so I can do that The other thing I like about this grinder is I can like put it underneath the bowl <laughs> and it'll catch like any extra because it has like a big enough mouth. I have a big enough mouth, honestly. Real talk. Sometimes it's too big. TikTok. I watch a lot of TikTok. Me and Brock Lesnar watch a lot of TikTok. I should. I wonder if a video can get taken down for that. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> like me, it's like Brock Lesnar's head <laughs> for like 20 minutes. <laughs> like, it's demonetized <laughs> for copyright because I'm using Brock Lesnar's image in my video. Oh my god, that's so funny. Ugh. I'm very stoned. I'm very stoned. I'm like some cross-eyed, which is why my eyes look like this. And it's like even more so and I'm high. <laughs> why did I do that? Why am I pulling out my eyes? Like what am I doing? Okay, I think that means it's time to stop. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>